Today, we will check out how to use timers in Unreal Engine using C++. A timer can be used to execute certain functionality with a delay or repeatedly after a certain time span has passed. For example, with this you can implement functionality like cooldowns or respawn timer for a character. The first thing you have to do is to get the reference to the timer manager. If you are working within an actor, you can simply call get world timer manager. Otherwise, you can also call get world and then get timer manager. As you can imagine, the timer manager is there to manage your timer, so to start a new timer or also to clear existing timer. As a side note, there also exist other versions for creating a timer in C++. But the version I show you today can be used in a lot of cases in which you need a timer. When you have your timer manager, you can call set timer on it and add a new timer. I will guide you through the parameters you have to provide to make it work. The first parameter you have to provide is the F timer handle. This is basically a reference to the timer you are creating in the moment and allows you to interact with the timer after its creation. The second parameter you have to provide is a pointer to an object you want to call a function on. So for example, you can use the, this keyword here to use the timer to call a function on the same object. Next, you have to provide a pointer to a function that should be executed by the timer. You can create a pointer to a function like this. First, you have to write the address operator followed by the name of the class the function is part of and then the function name. In my case, the function just prints some string to the console. After this, you have to provide the time for the delay in seconds. So for example, if I enter a two here, that means that this timer will call my function after two seconds. For the fifth parameter, you can set if your timer should be looping or not. So if you enter true here, that means that every two seconds, this timer will call the function. Lastly, you can provide a value for the first delay of a looping timer. The default value is set to minus one. And this will cause the initial delay to be the same as the value you have to provide it for the rate. So in this case, two seconds. However, if I enter one here, you will see that after one second, my function is called. And then for the subsequent iterations, my function will be called every two seconds. And if I set now the boolean for looping to false, you will see that the message will only get logged once to the console. Finally, if you have a looping timer and want to stop it, you can call clear timer on the timer manager and pass in the timer handle that you have used during the creation of the timer. For now, these are the basics you should know about when using timer in Unreal Engine using C++. Next video, I will show you how you can pass a parameter to a timer. Until then, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.